Hi there! I decided to start a devlog on my channel so that I can update you guys with the progress that I'm making on the components or the nodes for Unity. And this game that you see right now is a quick demo that I threw together so that I can test and demo the nodes. I already demoed two of the nodes in another video and those nodes were Camera Follow and the Move node. And in this demo that we build right now, it uses the Camera Follow, Debris Explosion, Delay, If Collide, Jump, keyboard button, move and remove. So this demo uses almost all of the nodes that I created. Let's take a look at some of the nodes. So our plane has a debris explosion component and here it is. So the options that we have is a debris object that we can pass in. Then we have the debris count that we want to create, the minimum scale of a debris and the maximum scale of debris and also initial velocity. So we have the minimum velocity and maximum velocity. Currently the debris count is 30. Let's set it to something higher. So let's try 100 and let's click play. So when the debris is set to 100, you can see that there's a little slowdown and I'm currently working on improving that. So that's a debris explosion node. Now let's take a look at the jump component. And for jump component, currently I have it as jump force. That's why you can see when you jump, the jump speed varies because force adds on top of the velocity that you have. I will also add jump velocity support, but for now I just have a jump force. And let me show you one more component, the if collide. So for the if collide, this is the setup that we have. And this shows how the connection between those components look like. So right here we have on collision in term, I do two things. I access the debris explosion component and trigger the explode method which creates that explosion. And the second thing is I set active for the game object to false so that the plane would disappear. I also have option to do something when the collision is exit, but I'm not using it in this demo. And to filter which objects can trigger this if collide, I decided to use the tag system that Unity has. And this demo only allows that tag enemy to trigger the if collide. And if you take a look at any of these objects, you can see that the tag right here is set to enemy for the rock and for the terrain. So both of them set to enemy. So that's just a quick update for you guys on what's going on with our nodes. If you have any suggestions or you want to see us create some node, write that in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click on the like button and I'll see you in the next one.